Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. We have our co-adventure guide with us, Kevin Phillip. I've had guests uh, be quite a long ways away from me. I'm here in Waikiki Beach. I've had guests over in Europe. But Kevin may be my second longest uh, guest from where I am. He's up in the frozen tundra of Canada. We, we just got all hooked up so we could do our radio interview with him. The, the bark of huskies in the background making loud noises. I guess his, his sled is still... Still uh, using the sled a little bit, even though it's you know winter is, is is over. But we have with us today Kevin Phillip, who is one of the leaders of a men's the men's movement in Regina, Canada. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Okay, no way. You're talking too fast. You're skipping over the good stuff. So you're teaching them wilderness survival. Did you ever get Did you ever get lost when you were teaching them these skills? Did you ever have a, a moment of, of like, I don't know where we are, and I better not let them know that we're lost? <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, for the most part, we went out first to do some reconnaissance to check the land out. That's where we got lost big time. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was, it was fine. So we knew which mistakes not to do when the kids would come. It was generally pretty safe. I think the only time we had an issue was we, we camped beside a lake and we told the kids, don't fish in the lake. And we didn't know there was fish in there, but they, we said, don't even try. As far as we knew, it was just dead. Sure enough, the boys, we went off to have a meeting and the boys went fishing and they caught a fish, they cut it on the fire, all things the boys do. And then get this bear, they threw the guts behind the tent. Oh! So, yeah. So when we came back and... They didn't want no you to see it. Single thing. No. Yes. Re reading Song of Solomon, he has that kind of dance of love where he, he draws close and then pulls back and he keeps inviting you, inviting you. Behold, my beloved stands at the door and knocks and says, Come away with me, my beloved. The Lord keeps wooing you to follow him. And God hides himself. It was C.S. Lewis that said this, just enough so that those who don't want to find him won't. But those who diligently seek him will. And so it's in that pursuit of God, whether in meditating in his word or going to receive the Eucharist, God pulls away so that you will follow. And it's so interesting. What do you think about that thought that you had in your heart, I love you, Kevin, take up your cross and follow me. What do you think about that part two of the statement? Did you just hear the first part did you, or did you hear the second part? No, oh, I did the second part right away. I, uh, um, there's an altar call, sort of a moment where the pastor's father, Robert, I don't remember his last name, I got everybody to walk up to the front who felt God's call. And, and from that moment on, um, my entire life had changed completely. Hey man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out.